Hello and welcome to Math Illustrations Basics Tutorial 2, presented by Saltier Software. Today we're going to be going over another toolbox you can use in order to make your geometrical figures accurate. If you recall from our last video, we went over the Draw and the Annotate toolboxes. This time we're going to go over the Constrain toolbox. And the first thing we're going to do is create a basic figure using the Line Segment button. So we'll just click and create our basic triangle. Now let's go back up and take the select tool. And again, as you recall, we can move this triangle around any which way we want right now. But let's constrain a side by highlighting a line and going over to our constrain toolbox and we're going to use the distance and length button. Let's call this side 5. You'll notice that the line color for constraints is in blue to distinguish it from the annotations. And if you try moving this figure around, now this length will not change. Let's constrain another side We'll highlight line segment BC and go over to the constraint toolbox. And let's make this 10. Now we have two constrained sides, and so if we move it around, neither of these sides will move or change lengths. And if you completely collapse line segment AB, you'll notice that it's half the length of BC so it's an accurate figure. Now we can also constrain angles if we hold the control button and select two lines we can let's make these perpendicular actually so we'll go over to the constraint toolbox make them perpendicular move this up a little and now we will not have a triangle that moves at all what if we wanted to also constrain line segment AC? If we go up and we go to the distance and length, let's make this a variable. We'll call this X. Now we're running into a conflict because our triangle is fully constrained. So in order to resolve it, we have two options. We can either discard the distance completely, which is this X that we created, or we can create an annotation. I'm going to create an annotation from that and click OK. So now you can see it's in black because it's just a label and not a constraint. We can move these down, clean this up, move the labels a little bit. And there you have an accurately constrained figure. This has been Math Illustrations Basics Tutorial 2, and I'm Audrey. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to post them below. If you're interested in this software, you can get more information by visiting the website at www.mathillustrations.com or by clicking the link below. Thanks for watching.